people out there. This is my friend, Mr. Dangles. Say hi, Mr. Dangles. Hi, Mr. Dangles. Yes, that is very good. You see, I am a very lonely baby. I have lost my mama and papa. Maybe I can find some out there with you. Oh, I have made a mess. My diaper is full of rainbows. Yes. So, Mr. Dangles, what do you want to do today with your fabulously creative ties? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Zubis, the baby. Spit it out. But I think say it. One of my ties is haunted. Oh no, a haunted tie. <laughs> Excuse him, Mo. Or was it the high? I do not know, but one thing I do know. Are you ready for the? Yes, it looks like a cobra. It's very. Oh no! Oh no! They should be afraid of snakes. Yes, they should. But it is just a tie. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh! I think by that bell, it is about to begin, is it not? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Hey, everybody! Guess yes. what? It's, it's time for the show! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's a little circus struggling to get by, and that circus is filled with scandal! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Acme Comedy Theater's all-improvised circus show, Big Top Trouble. Don't ask us what's going to happen tonight. We have no idea. So sit back, enjoy this exciting episode of Scandal! We start tonight's episode with Lucius Van Winkle, the Ringmaster, who's gathered together Zoobies and Hans Reich. He's going around letting people know the next three dates have been canceled. The circus is struggling. So I've been thinking about adding a new act. Begging. <laughs> Well, I can see you're emotionally distraught. <laughs> Do you want to know what makes me emotionally distraught, Mr. Winky? It's Van der Winkle, Zubis, and yes. What makes me distraught is I take my paycheck to the bank and it is not honored. They will not cash it because they say the account is empty. And that makes me a little upset, would it not you? Yes. But that's, that's not my fault. That's... Frank, the accountant's fault. Oh, Frank, the accountant's fault. Well, maybe you should tell Frank, the accountant, this. Uh, Zubis cannot buy cigarettes with the laughter of the children. <laughs> the giggles of the crowd cannot buy me a prostitute. You must pay me in cash, or I am on the first bus back to Montreal. Zubis, no. Yes. You can't leave. I brought yes. you in to save the show. Yes, yes, well then it puts you in quite a pickle, does it not? Yes, it does. Hans, help me here. We were once a flourishing circus. What? No, sir. We were once a flourishing circus. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're in shambles. What can we do? You were in the big game once. The big circus, the big top. And then we brought you here. And not much changed. No, it did not. Shocking, is it not? Well, what can we do, Zubis? Hans, you haven't said a single thing. You can shoot someone else out of the cannon. Yes, that is a good point. You see, uh, Owie, the big guy. Yes. Uh, people, I think, now he's a good friend, mind you, but people, I think, get a little sad watching a decrepit old guy getting shot out of a cannon. Now, Mr. Dangles, of course. That would be funny. Who does not like watching a clown who has gone ballistic? <laughs> I think you're on to something, yes. Yes, and <laughs> should he hit a tent pole, uh, all the more hilarious. <laughs> 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 yes. I think 
it, you're right, yes, yes, that's what we need. More danger, yes. more colorful dangles flying. Yes, 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 and you know what would make the picture complete? Pay me my fucking money! <laughs> Believing they had a romantic tryst, Ripley is concerned that Dirty Diana keeps giving him the cold shoulder. So what the fuck is up? Oh my god! Listen, I thought we were going to get sexual. Ew! You deny my crotch all the time. I'm getting fucking tired of it. Yes, I'm denying your crotch because I'm not into you. I do not like you. I am not interested in having the sex with you. I do not want your penis inside my vagina. Those are words I don't understand. Okay? Or oh, don't get it. You're speaking gibberish. Oh, it's, it, it's not. It's not making sense. It's like. It's like the, the no means are, no. It's like the adults on the peanuts. It's thing. not big enough for me. Oh, well, I've been using the extends <laughs> and the pump. And listen, on the star of the show. If okay? you have a magnum, don't bother. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing. Dirty Diana, listen up. I'm listening. I'm the goddamn star of the show. I know it, whatever. I was brought in for that. We know that, whatever. If you don't sleep with me, I'm leaving this goddamn circus, and then it's gonna go under faster than you can say my balls are small. <laughs> are you saying if I don't sleep with you, the circus is gonna be under and I'm gonna be out of the job? Yes, Ro, I'm manipulating you. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? Fine, whatever. Oh, God. Thank Paul! Oh, take me. Oh, Ripley. Right oh, now. Oh, God. I like I'm it the so other way. In love with you. The other way. Fine. Yeah, I don't like looking at the face. Oh, okay. Ripley. Oh, my God. Take me. You're so beautiful. Sumo comes to find Amelia. Unfortunately, Penelope seems a little sick, and he has to break the news. Penelope down. 
We're gonna put Nikolai down. Ooh. Speaking of Nikolai, Howie pays him a visit. You know, I could be a star again. You are a star, Howie. The star that shines brighter than any star in the galaxy. Thanks, Nikolai. It's the best news I've heard all day. You know, you're always so upbeat. You know, Russians usually are considered to be grouchy and down. Why do you always American stereotype? Well, we're good at it. We've been doing it for 200 years. <laughs> I am a happy man. <laughs> Absolutely. Every day I come to circus, we smile. Uh, hold this a second. Sure. Oh. You are weak man, but I respect you. Oh. Howie. Yeah. I'm very upset. What's wrong, Nikolai? We had to cancel last three dates of shows in circus. But Mr. Vanderwinkle says that that our next stop is going to be our biggest. Of four, yes. But the last three have been nothing, so the money is not going to equal what the last three equal, which is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing from nothing is nothing, but but you know, it I got nothing. I've got not a lot to hang on to anymore. I have to believe that the circus is going to make it. Do you remember when we were boys in circus? You were a young boy, I was same age. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've aged remarkably well. Thank you. It's lifting weight. <laughs> now, I want to remember that time, maybe in song. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the circus brought us in. Sing it, comrade! When I was 22. Oh, yeah. My life seemed so ahead of me. It did. And I would believe I could do anything that was put in front of me. Because the circus brought us in. Yes, the circus brought us in. Oh, the circus brought us in. is Armando, as Montego comes to him. Are you saying you did not have anything to do with who's it's death? This is Montego. 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 Email. Who's it gave me my name? Your respect. <laughs> yes. Okay, bye. Listen. My trailer was the one to crush Mr. Hood. But I had nothing to do with it. Like, where am I like? Montego has failed then. Montego can track a mole in a rainstorm. But there were no tracks from your trailer. No evidence of anyone else. No hood yeah. or nothing. Yet my horses tell me someone killed who's it. Oh, so we are listening to go by off now. <laughs> you bring your oats to Mr. Ed, he tells you the future, the past, the present. The 
because you do not have the ability to hear what your lions have to say. Oh, I hear plenty. You do not listen. What? You. <laughs> Circus means so much, maybe, <laughs> Mr. Vanderwinkel, since he took me in and he. So it's okay, Mr. Mr. Vanderwinkel is a very nice guy. But listen, oh, I'm not so good with these things. Uh, <laughs> nothing in there. <laughs> Darn it! Darn it! You need some inspiration, Mr. Who's It? Why'd you have to go away? Of the rock and roll. 
But I'm a human cannonball. But I'm Owie, Owie, I don't know, I don't know what you want from me. Do, what, you really think Vanderwinkle's gonna pay me if I don't get shot at anything? Well, you are the only one with a firearm certification here. You are the only one who can shoot the cannon, are you not? Yes. I'm not even American, and I know that. <laughs> you know, look, owie, 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 owie. Look, the clown will not be shot forever. I figure with any luck, it'll be a one-off deal, and none of us will ever have to deal with him again. Well, if he doesn't land right, he's going to die. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, you get maybe the Porsche I was beating around. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to think that you have it in for Dangles. I do not! He is a very talented guy who wears ties and has no training or experience and is a bit of an abortion of a clown. But he has heart! <laughs> heart? A chicken has a heart. My grandpa would cut it out and eat it with a little uh, oregano. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty much at the point where I have to do anything I can to keep my job. So if it means firing that clown out of my cannon and killing him. Howie? <laughs> Work on your aim. Wink. <laughs> talk. That's all you got to say to me? Well, you've got, you've got a hem at my testicles. I don't know what I should say. Even after I kiss my woman, you're still coming after her. Dirty Diana. Talk to her with respect. Double D. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't avoid it. All right. She's special to me. She is, huh? Yeah! Maybe because I'm the only one she ain't slept with! What do you like about her? I 
like that she's not afraid to take off her eye patch. <laughs> Mostly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, sure. She doesn't care about my scar. The one you make fun of. Well, it's hideous. I'm sorry. I just, it's one of those things. It's a beach ball. I've got to hit it. <laughs> you think you're better than me? I could have been one of you. Could have been a performer. You're a performer? I could have been somebody with knives, and then it got away from me. Oh, that's the scar. <laughs> oh. That's why you're sensitive, because it took away your art. Oh, I'll get it. I could have worn a fancy boa and some ladies' trousers. <laughs> why does everyone say that? These are just, listen, all right, how do you want to settle this? I want to settle this the old-fashioned way. Oh, okay, it's a fort, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, I, I fought before. Watch out, because I'm a, you know, I'm a tiger. <laughs> oh. What the audience wants, that's what they've said. They, there was even a suggestion in the suggestion box. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> said, shoot dangles out of the cannon. Well, don't I need special training or something? It's training, it's a human cannonball. How easy you fly out of the cannon into the big fluffy net thing. <laughs> okay, well, I, I get a net then. Yes, well, maybe. What? Ooh, yes, what if we didn't have a net? But I, <laughs> Gravity works, and it hurts people. Do oh, you so smart? So you'll do it then, yes? Well, look, Mr. Vanderwinkle, I, I want to do anything I can to help the circus. Good, if, good. If you think that that's what it's going to take. Yes. To <laughs> do sit-ups and all sorts of things. You I've never had to do those sorts of things compared to all the, the daredevils. You know I only give St. Louis to the best performers. Look, I might die. That's right. We can sacrifice a human cannonball. Hi, Howie. <laughs> Hi, Howie. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, Tangles. Cannon's all loaded up. I figure a test shot. Got to get them started right at the ground floor. Can, can I eat before oh. I get in? Oh, I wouldn't eat before you go. No? No. Oh. You do, air sickness in an airplane is nothing like being shot out of a cannon. Ooh, I do get air you know what, Howie? I don't think we need a test shot. No, I want to wait until the show. Perhaps we'll have a few surprises. <laughs> I suppose this, if he's fresh, I mean, I could kind of give him a quick idea of where he may or may not land. And... Right! Yes. The audience doesn't want to know if it, it looks like it's been rehearsed. No, they want to. They want that 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 that, that, that sense of excitement and anticipation. Will he make it? Won't he make it? Will he die? Well, don't worry. I'll make sure that he makes it. <laughs> Armand 
though, is a little hard up. Accusation makes the Spanish horny. <laughs> Who's he gonna visit? I wonder. What's your point? You know, uh, a lot of accusations have been going around this circuit. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, maybe we should have sex. You know, <laughs> just to uh, get some of the uh, out. I told you what you had to do to have sex with me, Armando, and you haven't done it yet. Listen, I'm not going to lick your boots. I'm not going to go wash your motorcycle. You're not going to lick my boots? Uh, <laughs> no, Armando has standards. <laughs> there are three boots licking. In this place, it should be Armando's boots being licked by you. You don't want to lick my boots, Armando? We didn't really lick your boots. <laughs> <laughs> it's your job, Armando. Now they're all clean. Oh, that's like poop. Give me that one. There we go. So if I lick this boot, I can do whatever I want to do. Maybe. How about I spend the next week in your trailer? How does that sound? Sounds boring. Okay. Sounds boring. Okay. Very, very boring. I was just saying, last time I left your trailer, I heard you crying. I don't know, maybe because Armando was gone. I was crying, Armando, because I want love, not sex. Oh my god, all of you men bore me to tears. You and your issues! Oh, wee, 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 I want sex, I have a penis. Wee, 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 wee. Really? Ugh. Are you done? <laughs> Just saying, if you want love, this circuit is full of ripe males are willing to uh, fulfill the lovely pleasure of loving the lovely. That's not what I mean, Armando. I'm not talking about sex, Armando. What other kind of love is there? Sure. You make, it's called making love, it's sex. I'm talking about emotional fulfillment. Oh, Speaking gross. You fulfill me emotionally. <laughs> That's disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Montego, still suffering from the visions, or hallucinations, or pain, whatever is affecting him, visits Hans Reich the Third. Tutor of mine. 
Every time I had some issues, he would help me. But you knew him? <laughs> I don't know if you are ready for me to tell you about how much he has. I have not seen my father, my real father, since I was 10 seasons old. <laughs> There's no one. I will come, my friend, with my good friend. But I don't think you are ready. You must talk to your horses. I hear them speak to me. They whisper strange things. They tell me. They tell me I. They tell me I can't miss it. But it's not true. It can't be true. Face the truth, huh? No. Face it! I didn't do it. Face it! No! Face it! No. Walking back to his trailer, Howie comes across an unconscious Ripley. Hughes had got killed. You know, in mysterious ways, right? Yeah. Well, I confronted Soupbone about it and he got all fucking crazy. I said, you probably did it! You don't And he's me. like, no, boy. Yeah, I probably did. And then I was like, you did. I've got evidence. And he said, no, you'll never get that evidence ever. And he punched me and that was it. I don't know what it means. Soupbone. <laughs> Yeah, you can't I'll, accuse Sue Bone of anything. He'll I'm kill just, you. I'm just saying. I'm not accusing. I'm just saying how the conversation went down. God, my all heads. Anyway, I don't know if you want to spread that around. That my Sue Bone might have said something, you know, about Mr. Hughes or whatever. But I think the guy's crazy. I, I, avoid him. Okay? Avoid him. I, I can't avoid him. I now, need him. No, do it. Because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> Just as Armando and Diana are getting down to whatever it is Armando and Diana are going to get down to, he said sit bone enters. Thought we was an item! We 
are, Sufon. It's just that I'm so used to having sex with so many different men, I don't know what it's like to be committed. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that... Damn it! <laughs> goes to see Zoobies. He's gonna pay them now that Dangles will be shot out of the cannon. You could take that money, your regular pay, or you could make thrice as much. Oh. Does that seem like a good offer? Well, of course it does. It is three times more. Yes. You want this circus to survive, don't you? Yes. Yes. So you can continue to get paid, yes? Yes. 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 Well, I figured out what we need here at Delaney and Yates. Exposure. You mean, like, drop the diaper? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, 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 that would push people away! That would push people away! No, we want to bring people in! And I figured out how to do that, so... Regular pay, thrice as much. How? I'll tell you. At our next show, Dangles will be shot from a gun. I want you to cut the net. Cut the net? Yes. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that 
face all sexy. Tigo thinks that he killed Mr. Fuset. So good. But you know what he is. Like a tough guy. I'm losing my 